Sandra West. Now this may not be a familiar name to you, but her name will be forever linked to the most unusual burial that occurred in 1977 in San Antonio, Texas. Sandra Eileen West was born January 1939 in Beverly Hills, California. She was a vivacious child that grew into a beautiful woman, and she attracted the admiration of many suitors, including celebrities that were rumored to be the likes of Frank Sinatra and even Elvis Presley. Around that time, she met a Texas oilman by the name of Sol West. Now, Sol West III and his brother Ike West, Jr., were members of the Texas rich West family, whose fortunes were made in cattle and in oil. Sandra began dating Sol, but as time went on, she set her sights on Sol's brother, Ike. Sandra and Ike became involved and eventually married and moved to California, settled in a mansion in Beverly Hills, and became part of the Beverly Hills Society. Sandra loved speed and beautiful cars, and her fleet included a Stutz Blackhawk, a 1969 365 GT 2 plus 2, a 1973 Dino, and her favorite Ferrari, a powder blue 1964 330 America, which was one of the most stylish cars of the 1960s. This car would play an important part later in the story. Now, Sandra seemed to be leading a charmed life, until tragedy struck when Ike died at the Las Vegas Flamingo Hotel in 1968, leaving Sandra a very wealthy widow. After Ike's passing, it appears Sandra continued the life of a Beverly Hills socialite. But she also began to pursue her favorite interests. She had an extensive stamp collection, which she enjoyed, and she studied Egyptology, and had a fascination of ancient Egypt and the burial practices of the pharaohs, especially that of King Tutankhamun, as we know as King Tut. Now, King Tut was buried with treasures beyond belief, which were to accompany him on his journey to the afterlife. Included in his treasures were two gold chariots. The King Tut chariots have been described as a marvel of optimized design, and, ironically, were once referred to as the Ferraris of ancient Egypt. Now, Sandra's fascination with the Egyptian pharaoh's burial practices probably influenced her decision on how she wished to take her final journey. As time went on, Sandra became less the socialite about town and more of a recluse in her mansion. Sadly, associates described her as someone with very few real true friends, even though she appeared to be a very generous person. When Sandra finally made out her will, she had very specific instructions, and those instructions were a shocker. She listed her brother-in-law, Sol, as her heir, but only if he completed her final request. Her request was to be buried next to her husband in Texas. She was to be dressed in a white lace nightgown and positioned and seated in her powder blue Ferrari with the seat comfortably slanted. She stipulated in the will that if Sol did not honor her wishes to the letter, he would not inherit her estate. Sadly, Sandra passed away March 10, 1977, from what was described as a combination of complications from a previous auto accident and an overdose of prescription drugs. She was only 38 years old. Now, it was said that Sol West after reading the stipulations in the will, was furious at what he called a ridiculous request. But finally he followed through and honored her instructions. The burial finally took place on May 19, 1977, which was here in San Antonio, Texas, at the Alamo Masonic Cemetery, where her husband Ike was buried in the family plot. As you can imagine, this was quite a feat. Sandra and her auto was placed in a concrete box, and a crane had to navigate around the tombstones in order to place the box in her grave, measuring 19 feet long, 10 feet wide, and 9 feet deep, and then was covered in cement to thwart any vandalism or attempted theft, according to the local news report. 
Sandra is buried next to her husband, Ike, and next to Ike is his brother, Saul. Much has been said over the years about this, but I look at Sandra as a determined girl who knew exactly what she wanted in life, and even to the end, like the song, she did it her way. What a gal.